For today's video, we are going to talk about how to find the domain and range of exponential functions and we are going to explain everything in details. If the given function is written in the form of f of x equals a times b raised to x minus c plus d, where d is the horizontal asymptote, the domain is the set of x values such that x is the set of all real numbers or in interval notation that is from negative infinity up to positive infinity. If the value of a is greater than 0, the range is the set of y values such that y is greater than d or in interval notation that is d up to positive infinity where d is not included in the solution. And if the value of a is less than 0, the range is the set of y values such that y is less than d or in interval notation that is from negative infinity up to d where d is not included in the solution. And these are the basic concepts in order for us to find the domain and range of exponential functions. So let's start and let's have an example. On example number 1, f of x equals 3 raised to x minus 2 plus 5. So how can we find the domain and range of the given function? Always remember, the domain of exponential function is always all real numbers. So to write the domain, let us have domain is the set of x values such that x is the set of all real numbers. And to write this one in interval notation, we are going to have negative infinity up to positive infinity. So this will be our domain. And to write the range, since the given function is written in the form of f of x equals a times b, raised to x minus c plus d, where d is our horizontal asymptote and the value of a is greater than 0. Therefore, our range is the set of y values such that y is greater than d and that is 5. And to write this one in interval notation, since the value of a is greater than 0, we are going to have 5 up to positive infinity. And this will be our range. On example number 2, f of x equals 4 raised to x plus 1. So to find the domain, always remember, the domain of exponential function is always all real numbers. So let us have domain is the set of x values such that x is the set of all real numbers. And to write this one in interval notation, we are going to have from negative infinity up to positive infinity. And this will be our domain. And to find the range, since the given function is written in the form of f of x equals a times b raised to x minus c plus d, where d is our horizontal asymptote, and since we don't have a value for d, our horizontal asymptote is 0, and the value of a is greater than 0. Therefore, our range is the set of y values such that y is greater than 0. And to write this one in interval notation, we are going to have 0 up to positive infinity. And this will be our range. On example number 3, f of x equals negative 3 raised to x plus 5. So to find the domain, let us have domain is the set of x values such that x is the set of all real numbers. And to write this one in interval notation, we are going to have from negative infinity up to positive infinity. And this will be our domain. And to find the range, since the given function is written in the form of f of x equals a times b raised to x minus c plus d, and this our horizontal asymptote, and that is 0, and this time a is less than 0 because we have a negative sign. Therefore, to find the range, let us have range is the set of y values such that y is less than 0. 
and to write this one in interval notation, since a is less than 0, we are going to have negative infinity up to 0. But 0 is not included, and this will be our range. On example number 4, f of x equals 8 raised to x plus 9 minus 2. So to find the domain, let us have domain is the set of x values such that x is the set of all real numbers. Or you can write in interval notation that is from negative infinity up to positive infinity. And this will be our domain. And to find the range, since the given function is written in the form of f of x equals a times b raised to x minus c plus d, where d is our horizontal asymptote and that is negative 2, and a is greater than 0. Therefore, to find the range, let us have range is the set of y values such that y is greater than d and that is negative 2. And since the value of a is greater than 0, we can write this one in interval notation as negative 2, but negative 2 is not included up to positive infinity. And this will be our range. On example number 5, f of x equals negative 6 raised to x plus 4 plus 7. To find the domain, let us have domain is the set of x values such that x is the set of all real numbers. Or you can write this one in interval notation that is from negative infinity up to positive infinity. And this will be our domain. And since our horizontal asymptote is 7 and the value of a is less than 0 because we have a negative sign, therefore our range is the set of y values such that y less than d that is 7 and we can write this one in interval notation and since the value of a is less than 0 we are going to have from negative infinity up to 7 but 7 is not included and this will be our range on example number 6 f of x equals negative 9 raised to x minus 2 minus 11 so to find the domain let us have domain is the set of x values such that x is the set of all real numbers. Or we can write this one in interval notation that is from negative infinity up to positive infinity. And this will be our domain. And to find the range, since our horizontal asymptote is negative 11 and the value of a is less than 0 because we have a negative sign, therefore our range is the set of y values such that y less than d, that is negative 11. And to write this one in interval notation, and since the value of a is less than 0, we are going to start from negative infinity up to negative 11. But negative 11 is not included, and this will be our range. On example number 7, f of x equals negative 2 raised to x minus 2 minus 3 over 4. So to find the domain, let us have domain is the set of x values such that x is the set of all real numbers. Or we can write this one in interval notation that is from negative infinity up to positive infinity. And this will be our domain. And since our horizontal asymptote is negative 3 over 4 and a is less than 0 because we have a negative sign, therefore our range is the set of y values such that y less than d, that is negative 3 over 4. And we can write this one in interval notation. And since the value of a is less than 0, we are going to start from negative infinity up to negative 3 over 4. But negative 3 over 4 is not included in our solution. And this will be our range. On our last example, f of x equals negative 5 raised to x minus 2 plus 2 over 3. So to find the domain, let us have domain is the set of x values such that x is the set of all real numbers. 
or we can write this one in interval notation that is from negative infinity up to positive infinity and this will be our domain and since our horizontal asymptote is two-third and the value of a is less than zero because we have a negative sign therefore our range is the set of y values such that y less than d that is 2 over 3 and we can write this one in interval notation and since the value of a is less than 0 we are going to start from negative infinity up to positive 2 over 3 but 2 over 3 is not included and this will be our range so i hope you've learned from this video thank you so much for watching and god bless us all